Hey guys, the new video. In a recent interview on Howard Stern show, Priyanka Chopra was talking about surgery that went wrong. Like she did a surgery and completely uh, ruined her face. She didn't look the same. She felt awkward. She felt depressed. She was in a complete depression. And she was saying that actually her daddy, who's also a surgeon, helped her a lot. Because he said, just go back and do another surgery to fix all these issues. And she did, and thank God everything's fine. Even though she said she got fired from three projects because of this. Because she didn't look the same. It's kind of insane. Uh, and actually, I thought, like, where's Priyanka Chopra? I haven't seen her actually on a screen since Quantico. What happened? I think I watched either the dramatic after and then like huge break. What happened? And that's what happened. Let's see the report. What really happened? Priyanka Chopra is getting candid about a dark time in her life after a surgery she had did not go as planned. During the May 1st episode of Sirius XM's The Howard Stern Show, Priyanka speaks about the removal of a polyp in her nasal cavity and how it went terribly wrong. She says, quote, It was a dark phase. This thing happens, and my face looks completely different, and I went into a deep, deep depression. Priyanka says she was fired from three different movies after that, and she truly believed her acting career was over before it started. The situation got so bad that she says she didn't want to leave the house, but that's when Priyanka's dad, a doctor himself, helped her find the courage to go back under the knife and get corrective surgery. She adds, quote, I was terrified of that, but he was like, I will be in the room with you. He held my hands through it and helped me build back my confidence. I can say that Priyanka is a lucky person. Not only she has a husband, a kid, healthy kid, and is great already. She's a movie superstar, but also she has a father who helped her build her confidence back. And it's important because a lot of people suffer in depression. A lot of people going through the surgeries, doing something with her body and they didn't like the result and they go going through depression. And for a uh, female who actually, uh, not only act actress, right? Uh, she's also like a role model. Everybody knows her because of her face. So I can understand how she felt because it's crazy to lose uh, your face actually. I remember this old movie with Tom Cruise when he lost his face. It was insane. Additionally, Priyanka is opening up about her love life with music superstar Nick Jonas. Although she didn't immediately pursue Nick, he eventually got her attention getting down on one knee as she was leaving a Hollywood party so he could profess his feelings for her. It was such a Prince Charming moment. It was like time stopped. And also he was like so hot and like I didn't know him and it I was at the Vanity Fair party. It was really like a meet cute from a movie. And he just held my hand and I turned around and he was in his suit and he goes down on his knees and I was like, and I think time stopped. Uh, I was on my way to, at the Vanity Fair party, they have the In-N-Out burger stand. And I was on my way to go get that burger. And even that, like I just, it was all slow motion. She goes on to say that there were sparks again about a year later when they ran into each other at the Met Gala. At the, the, Met Gala where we didn't go with each other. Somehow we landed at the same time on the carpet and I look, I was fixing my, adjusting my dress and I look up and it was like, oh, of, of course it's Nick at the Met Gala at the same time as me. And right. we talked a little bit and he was like, let's just give it a real shot. And I was like, yeah, sure, of course. I wasn't looking for a relationship at that time. Despite saying no to multiple dates with Nick due to the fear of getting her heart broken, she did eventually agree to a night out with the Jonas brother. Yeah, he did a smart thing. He actually uh, asked her out, but didn't actually ask her out. You know what I'm saying? He asked her out with his friends. So I have friends. No pressure, let's go somewhere with my friends. Let me introduce you to my friends. Yada, yada, yada. And that eventually how they ended up together. I don't know if she's totally honest when she said I wasn't looking for a relationship. Maybe she wasn't, maybe she was. We never know, but it's good they actually together. I'm happy to see couples happy and when they uh, tell their story on uh, different interviews. I have this romantic part in me. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, push the like button, turn the notification button, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and see you in the next one. Bye.